Weekend Recharge continues again this hour. Good morning, I'm Justin Michaels, live for you this morning on Sanibel Island in Florida. The recovery here is well underway. When you look this way, the stunning golf. Looking back is a bit of a different story, but we're gonna talk about the recovery and how they want tourists to come back, coming up. And looking back, today marks 10 years since the deadly EF5 tornado ravaged an Oklahoma community. The last EF5 tornado to form in this country. Later on, a look back, plus what severe threats are at play today for the southeast. And storms will steal Florida's sunshine as the state enters its rainy season. We're timing out the rinse and repeat showers straight ahead. Weekend Recharge continues this morning. I'm Justin Michaels on Sanibel Island, Florida, where tourists are beginning to come back after Hurricane Ian. But managing expectations for those tourists is what we're trying to help you do this morning. But another thing coming back, turtles are coming back to the beach. We'll talk turtles coming up. And today also marks the 10 years since a deadly EF5 tornado ravaged the town of, Q of Moore, Oklahoma. The last EF5 tornado to form in the U.S. Later on, a look back. Plus, what severe threats are at play today for the southeast? And storms will steal Florida's sunshine as the state enters its rainy season. We're timing out rinse and repeat showers straight ahead. Weekend Recharge continues this Saturday on Sanibel Island in Florida, one of the barrier islands very badly hit by Hurricane Ian 234 days ago. As you can see, tourists are coming back, but managing expectations is critical if this is a vacation spot for you. We'll talk about all that coming up live. And today marks 10 years since the deadly EF5 tornado that ravaged an Oklahoma community, the last EF5 tornado to form in the U.S. Later on, look back. Plus, what severe threats are at play today in the southeast? And the storms will steal Florida's sunshine as the state enters its rainy season. We're going to time out uh, the rinse and repeat showers straight ahead.
Thunderstorm is making a comeback this week for the central states coming up where storms could turn severe and how long the wet weather will stick around. Beach plans are always a summer staple, but it's important to stay safe during your swim. Later, where shark sightings are increasing and how you can spot the fins while on shores. And while you're at the beach or on the waters, it can be much needed. It can be a much needed therapy session with Mother Nature. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and one man will join us on how fly fishing helped better his life and how it could help others. Thunderstorm is making a comeback this week for the central states coming up where storms could turn severe and how long the wet weather will stick around. Beach plans are always a summer staple, but it's important to stay safe during your swim. Later, where shark sightings are increasing and how you can spot the fins while on shores. And while you're at the beach or in the waters, it can be a much needed therapy session with Mother Nature. You know, it is Mental Health Awareness Month and one man will join us and tell us how fly fishing helped better his life and how it could help others. Strong and severe thunderstorms making a comeback this week for the central states. Coming up where storms could turn severe and how long the wet weather will stick around. Beach plans are always summer staple, but it's important to stay safe during your swim. Later where shark sightings are increasing and how you can spot the fins while on the shores. And while you're at the beach or on the water, it can be a much needed therapy session with Mother Nature. So by the way, May is Mental Health Month and one man will tell us how fly fishing helped better his life and how it could help others too.